What's up everyone? Welcome to the Be Real Truck Tour. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of weird to say. <laughs> I know. Look at that thing. It's freaking awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> Recording. So as you guys know, this is the Total Archery Challenge truck that Travis and I bull shot so many times at the freaking 111 yard caribou. Travis freaking won it which is unbelievable for just, you guys. Just happened. <laughs> <laughs> just happened. It was like one in 40 chance. 42, I believe there was 42, 42 guys, people. Yeah. Or so, women, guys, whatever. Yeah. Archers. Did any girls hit it? Maybe? I don't know. Could be. It's a good question. Yeah. But anyways, uh, one in 42 chance. Travis won it. We had to ship it from Utah. We had to get it here, which um, is kind of, never, we'd never dealt with shipping a car, so that was kind of crazy to deal with. Not really, it was super easy, but anyways. We're gonna give you a tour on this bad boy. And if you guys haven't seen it already, uh, like the post or Total Arctic Challenge. And this was, today was actually the first time like I even looked at it or whatever. <laughs> Travis has had it for the past week and a half or whatever. Yeah. Um, but now this is this is pretty awesome. So do you wanna show them those boxes? I don't even know yeah. if you have the key. So these are dry containers. Um, they waterproof? Oh, yeah, I guess they are waterproof. They're waterproof, so they yeah. have a, a seal around it keep stuff dry uh basically they're like coolers you know so yeah. we could pack them full of meat we you could do to. yeah well i'm thinking like ratchet straps or like survival if we get stuck in yep. one for sure yep jack branches. yeah yeah yep i keep them locked so there's three boxes like this two small ones and a large one um I believe those, these are for like fuel yeah, cells. I feel like, yeah, you can mount something. Fuel though. cells or something like that, or water containers, you know, for uh, like a yeah. big yeti, bladder. A yeti uh, <laughs> a bladder. cooler box right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> to where then it has a tap on it, you can wash the blood off your hands. Yeah. That's really sweet. We've got a big bed, throw the coolers in, and these are up high enough to slide the, the yetis right in. Yeah, we should check that. Yeah. I think what we're gonna do though, for this, like when we rock it out west, yeah. The, oh, hitch, yeah. the hitch, and hauler. then we'll have the big Yeti on the back. Yep. And that'll yeah. be killer. Yeah. Yeah, and we're, we're thinking some accessory lights, Yeah. like up here, to where they can be shined down to where we can prep in the dark. And then if, when we're camping, we'll have light. Cause that's killer, imagine, remember when we were like cutting up meat two years ago in Wyoming? Oh yeah. Like we could go, we could go like this, we could those two lights, yep. cutting up meat yep. up here. Keep a piece of plywood with us. Yeah. And like, just, yeah. Cutting up meat on that, wash it off, slide it back in. That would be killer. Yeah. Yep. So here's the other dry container. It's just much bigger. LEDs right here. We already <laughs> got you LEDs. We're ready. We're going to rock these LEDs somewhere. These so leave a comment box. below of where these should go. We yeah. have a huge light bar for real. The dual row, this one's called. And now those are two just accessory uh, yeah. swivel ones. Truck guys, we need your opinion yeah. on that. So Chris was thinking maybe we should have one on each side like here and then in the back. But you Shining guys, please, down. please comment where they should be. Yeah. And, uh, and tips how to wire them too. Like how we should wire them and switch them and stuff like yeah. that. I have no experience. No, I mean. It's uh, oh, battery operator is all I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So we got some huge meats on here, dude. I don't and even these... know what are they. Thirty-eight. Oh, inch tires. Yeah. Uh, I think they're just like a, a thirty. They're a two sixty-five, um, uh, twenty or two sixty-five. 275, 65, 20. So 20 is the rim, so the 20 inch rim. So basically we're balling, you know, 20 inches, you know. <laughs> Dude, it's high. <laughs> yeah. And then we have a massive back seat here. So basically most of the time when we're running, um, there's someone's driving and then someone's sleeping. So we're not wasting any time yeah. of uh, pulling over For and real. taking breaks. So there's always a person sleeping. Someone's riding shoddy, someone's driving, and then just rotate through to where the truck only time is stopping is for gas and Casey's donuts, and that's it. There's no other stops. <laughs> or if there's a buck on the side of the road, then we're stopping. <laughs> then we're stopping. <laughs> then we're stopping, <laughs> trying to get permission to hunt that buck, yeah. and then carry we keep out. that clean. Like, we really don't have much in there yeah. when we're and rocking the, on these, the road. These extra pouches are going to be killer for, yeah. for keeping that clean, for And sure. the back is, like, pretty protected, so as long as we have yeah. stuff in, like, totes, yeah. I feel like we'll be good. Yep. So we threw some running boards on here because this thing's so high it's hard to get into so 
Now we have a step to get in. And we're styling. Yeah. So this is a big bench seat too, so um, there's extra passengers. We always have rooms. So now we have room for six, really, if we're doing a, you know. Collab. If we're running the, the, to the, the road up there in Alaska, if this thing ever oh, makes the hall it up, road? the haul road. Oh, this thing would have been. <laughs> This thing would have been awesome. Oh this guy. gosh. Yep. And the best part about it, it's sleeper. Yeah, dude. Gotta grab this one. So these clips are super easy. And they got that little buckle lock. Yeah, on. so there's a, a spring right here to keep it fastened to where it's not gonna pop open when you're on the road. So those just go up. Give it it's literally spring. a hydraulic. You just go for it. So this also doubles as a secure boat case. Boom. You're ready. There we go. Yeah, in the back. Bows. No brown head bouncing around there though. It's just some pure points. So this is actually, I don't know how thick. That's gotta be like a four inch padding on there. Super like super nice bed. But the only downfall is this is like, if you're over six foot, six two, six three, you're probably gonna be pretty tight in here. So, but it's really awesome. It's got a fan up top, storage container. We got vents on both sides you can open up. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 100% waterproof. I don't know why it wouldn't be. At least 99%. 90, yeah, good enough. <laughs> well, it's got the shell top, so it's for sure waterproof on that point. But um, yeah, and these actually come up and lock, I'm pretty sure like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah lock yeah, boom lock so i mean this is why the diy hunter public land i mean this thing is just gonna be awesome then you just pop it down like that clip the both sides and you're ready to go throw your bows back in there throw the, the bows back in there yep. ready to go yep. Yep. for real yep. make sure the broad heads are locked in and so your quiver and then what is the it arrows. people are probably going to ask all these technical questions yeah. Yeah, like, it's a here we get it So under the hood, we have a 5.0 liter Ford. So the 5.0 is tried and true. It's been in the Mustang forever. It's been in the F-150 forever. It's probably been in other trucks, but I'm not a big Ford guy. I've had one. I was had a Ford Ranger and I had a Ford F-150 when I was I had a new, 97 F-150. New to driving and, yeah. and that was it. So 5.0. This morning got the oil changed, figured out it's 8.8 .8 quarts in this bad hog. So we rode right here. So Whoever changes the oil does not have a question what goes in here. <laughs> Good go. And yeah. Yeah, it's 2018. Did you see that? Oh yeah, 2018. It's yeah. got 30,000, yep. right? 30,000 30, 30, on it. Pounds. Yeah, it's sharp. Yeah. Stock. It's gotta be quiet. We gotta be able to sneak up on the bus. Sneak up on those bus. You don't like loud trucks. No loud trucks. Hear that 5.0 just purring. So this is the XLT package. So uh, a few features, but no automatic seats. Um, standard dashboard, I'm assuming, with the Ford. No, no, not a huge screen. Just the work. It's the work version. Work yeah. version, as Chris said. Yeah. So pretty standard, pretty basic, but uh, it has drive mode button. So this drive mode button, you. You have normal, tow haul, snow, oh, eco, and then sport mode. And so far, mode. sport mode is like killer. The thing like cranks in sport mode. <laughs> yeah, here comes the Skeeters, dude. They're just loading yeah, in this truck. Are bad. 